My name is Teresa. If this is your first time here, welcome to Fashion Upward. I do content based on faith, fashion, and a lifestyle. So if you were interested in the content, hopefully subscribe. I hope something was said today in this video to inspire you, to encourage you, and to strengthen your faith. All right, so uh, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute. I'm so happy to be back. I'm always just elated when I can um, sit down and just come and talk to you all. So for the past few months, the Lord has been dealing with me about finances. Let me tell you all a funny story. The other day when I was recording, uh, I had like a whole, I think like 15 minutes worth the video I look back at it because I was wearing like this dress I just have to be transparent I was wearing this dress and it was just terrible I mean the dress was long enough it hit below the knees but all of the movement and stuff that I was doing it was like the the word came through but I said oh, Lord I can't I just can't so I am recording so this is going to be uh, two parts so the second part that you will see will be uh, you know I'll look different because that's footage from the other day so anyways and uh, today is the 4th of July and uh, I just I, I need to record this video so that I could get it edited and upload it and just you know chill for the rest of the day and enjoy my holiday all right so like I said a few months ago the Lord was talking to me about budgeting and finances actually he's been dealing with me about it for the whole entire year and uh, it's so funny because I was looking at my uh, budgeting chart and in the section where it's like I have a section for like clothing and you all know that I love fashion but the Lord has been really having me to be creative I've had to use pieces within my closet like recycling like nobody's business and let me, let me tell you all, like, this is so phenomenal. I am really proud of myself because through the whole entire year, I calculated my budget. You all, my clothing, the amount that I spent on clothing, let me see if you can guess before. I'll give you a few moments. Let me see if you can guess how much I spent on clothing. Okay, you've had enough time. Listen. It was $191.38. To you, that may seem like a lot if you're not really into fashion and clothing and things like that and beauty. But I am and I spent in a year $191.38. What I can say is that I did not shop online. Now one package came through that was clothing came through my mailbox to my front door that was from a website that I shopped at nothing so that oh lord he's really really working with me and I'm just very proud that I'm being obedient to what the Lord is saying and although it has been strenuous and it has been hard he is still continue to work with me I am seeing I'm seeing results you know I am seeing results so in the second, well, they call it like mid, this mid part of the year, my focus is on, will be on debt because student loans have come back. And so it's going to be on debt, personal debt and student loan debt, getting those debts down and a few other, you know, like debts and, and things of that, uh, things of that nature. The Lord has called us to be lenders and not borrowers. So I want to make sure that I'm standing in that we should really owe no one nothing, <laughs> period. So we really should not, we should not be in debt. We should be lending and in setting up, you know, setting up so that others that are in need, that are less fortunate than, you know, ourselves or less fortunate than the next person, we are able to help them within the body of Christ. All right, or help you know people that don't know Christ to bring them in to draw them in. That is what it, it's about. We are ambassadors of Christ, and that is one of our assignments here on earth. So, but I know I'm preaching to the choir though, because I know I know y'all know. I know you all know. So anyway, I have a few notes here, so you'll see me looking down and. Um, 
the one thing I want to focus in on, I feel like the Lord, you know, will have me to share that's really been on my heart is about budgeting, giving, and savings. So those are two or three top things that I want to focus in on. Number one, when it comes to budgeting, let's go. When it comes to budgeting, where are you with your budgeting? I know for me, I have been, let, let, me, let me put it like this. I wouldn't necessarily say that it was budgeting, but it was creating a chart with everything that I spent, but not setting apart, okay, you only have $400 a month to spend on food. If you go outside of that $400, there is no more left for you to spend on groceries, okay? And you have a dining, dining out budget. Like, I have a dining out budget. So my restaurant and dining out budget, let's say it's like a hundred dollars a month. I hardly don't even spend that anyway. I may spend like five or ten dollars a month. So if I go over in my grocery, you know, I have to pull from that balance that I set for myself. So let's say like within the past few years, I have been just I have an amount there, you know, like what I'm spending. But I never really truly allocated. Okay, you have $400 that you could spend on grocery. I kind of just let it like, oh, okay, well, this month I spent $400 and go ahead and plug that in. No, 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 no. The Lord's saying that's not the way that you should do it. Because for this reason alone, you're going to come, you're, you are going to find out that you are either going to be living beyond what you have, or you're just going to be spending money, like you're making money, but it's just going, you know, it's going to all of these different things and you're not allocating where you want the money to go. You got to talk to the money. Okay, for this month, uh, it's only $400 and that's it. Okay, not a dime more on groceries and I'm not playing. See, I love to cook. Okay, so I cook and I eat a pretty clean, um, you know, pretty clean, organic, uh, vegan, you know, uh, lifestyle. And... You know, it's I, I've gotten used used to it now, so I budget for that. You know, like I said, my restaurant dining out bill is pretty low. It just depends on what what is going on within the month. So we want to be mindful that it is always key to allocate, not just a budget, but make sure that you allocate. Talk to your money, tell it where you want it to go. I'll have some scriptures to align with what I'm saying to help you and you know talk to God about it you know he will help you and he will lead you to the resources that are viable to help you on your journey with your finances all right so the second thing that I wanted to talk about is giving is giving what it's supposed to give period <laughs> I stuck around my students. Period, Miss Neville. Period, period. So, anyways, that's a a, a gen thing. So, uh, so anyway, um, giving. But all seriousness, giving is at the top. You know, giving our time, giving what you know we we bring in, giving a portion of that. And the Bible talks about tenth, giving, giving, giving. Giving, 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 saving, saving, savings. Those votes align. We want to be making sure that we are giving to those that are less fortunate than ourselves. And then also we want to make sure that we are giving to no one that I guess it would apply to, you know, the less fortunate or that they don't have or even giving back to what souls into you, what feeds you. You know, uh, whether that is a word, whether it's encouragement, whether it's your time. But you want to be giving back. It is important. It is scripture. And I feel like it's just vital to give. You always feel so good when you are giving to a great cause. And then when you're just doing due diligence as it is required for you to give. I know with um, myself, you know, um, I don't know, like when you struggle for a long periods of time, 
it is hard to give like I, I I can admit like sometimes I be like you know stingy with certain things but the Lord is having you know like breaking me of those things because it's like it's alone I it, it don't belong to you anyway you know we are supposed to you know be wealthy we are supposed to budget you know supposed to give and have that allocated even with giving in the scripture it talks about where Jesus is saying all that is already supposed to be what is put on your heart to give that is put aside you know so you are not so it's so it's not like a hostage kind of thing like you give from the goodness of your heart not because you feel like um you know pressured into giving or you give like prematurely or you give just sporadically you know whatever the lord has put on your heart you put that aside and then you give that if it was put on your heart within that moment to give more and you have that to give then do that whatever the lord is required it has required for you to do and what is scripture and what is you feel led and what's on your heart do that honey because one thing i know is that it always comes back comes back in your health comes back in in different scenarios you know your protection you're covering so many so many things small things that we don't even really realize that it it, it, it comes back to us so the lord is you know you do not want to, to mess with your savings you don't want to mess with your investments the the thing about it and it, i'm still learning and i am still growing about budget and finance because this was not something that i was brought up in so with time and just you know educating myself and listening to the holy spirit and having the holy spirit direct me i am become i am learning to have more wisdom and be more responsible about my money okay um so with savings you know i already know that this much is going to be allocated and i can't touch it you know if you're going on a trip, if you're going and you travel a lot you want to make sure okay i may need to open up another account that is allocated just for traveling you know i have 500 dollars that goes into my traveling budget so when it gets time to you know it's time or trip comes up or something unexpected comes up okay you know what i don't have to mess with my you know i do not have to mess with my savings I don't have to mess with anything else uh you know i i have that i can pull from travel they have a um it's a 30 what is it 30 60 i'll put it up here on the screen or whatever like you put 30 percent goes to already allocated bills you have a 10 percent. you all know what i'm talking about is uh it's a, a rule of thumb or whatever but with that i can say that maybe once or twice or to follow by that but i think it kind of comes naturally that you know okay well i need to put aside this much like two thousand dollars off top is going to my rent you know my bills that i know are non-negotiable they're not really like shifting or changing okay 20% is going to go toward, you know, like savings and necessities. Well, 10% will go to toward, you know, necessities, things like that. Wait, 20% will go toward like necessities, food, groceries, things of that nature. And 10% will go to, you know, my savings and my uh, giving and my savings. You all know what it, it, what it is that I'm trying to say. So, so yes, yeah, so that's that. So let me know how are you doing with your journey on savings on budgeting on you know any of those things i'm going to pop in the second clip and let you all watch that and um before i go and go into the second part which is just giving you scripture and giving you bible on what the word of god says about uh giving and about savings and just about finances okay so before i get into that i want to make an announcement since we are talking about budgeting and um, you know and giving and also with using our gifts and talents the Lord um, has allowed me to uh, share with you our consignment that we have on inheritance 
111.com. Inheritance111.com is a business that uh, the Lord gave me uh, in 2015. We had a brick and mortar store that we opened in Hot Springs, Arkansas in the year 2015 and we took it online after the brick and mortar has closed. So my business has been uh, online running since um, I want to say 2017 because I revamped it, moved the site and did all that. But since about 2017, yeah. So it's been there so we are um you know we started out in consignment we are online inheritance111.com and so lord you know i was saying like about going back to consignment like how can i do this consignment thing like online and granted i'm still it's still a process i'm still learning but i did want to announce that i do have consignment uh all of the consignment if you're interested in doing your consignment with me online and you want to know what that looks like you can go to the website and everything will be listed there or you can email me and I will put the my email address across the screen where you can email and let me know your questions or concerns with consignment okay so moving to part of that I have another special announcement and this again is about growing um, you know growing what the Lord has given us growing our seeds planting our seeds in good foundation and allowing them to grow using our gifts talents and ability to uplift the kingdom and to be a blessing and to be a light and I hope and I pray that I'm doing just that so um, yeah so I want to give away three of my ebooks say what yes my ebooks i started writing an ebook well i have one ebook and it is fashion upward and it is available and i am very proud of it so I, i'm very proud you know the lord had to mm, you know like hone me down and say work on this book so i've been working on it this summer i started in 2020 uh during the pandemic and you know i let it sit for maybe like a year and then you know I really was diligent about finishing the book this summer so uh, the book is finished and I am very proud of the work um, that the Lord you know like just help the Lord really did the Holy Spirit help me to complete and finish the book so I want to give away three books so if you have watched this far leave your Leave your takeaway from the video in the comment section. Leave your takeaway and I will message you the first the first three to hear the message. I'm giving away the three books. So if it's more than three, I hope that it encourages you. It just talks about fashion, lifestyle, uh, eating right, travel, photography. So. I really just really shared from my heart what I felt like would maybe be beneficial and then also fun and exciting for you to know especially if you're into fashion and you want to go into that feel um, lifestyle is a big part of who I am uh, eating right working out exercising honey just life in general and the things that really uh, make me a better person and, and things I'm getting uh, getting better at day by day okay so we're all still a work in progress so yes yeah, so I am excited about my first ebook fashion upward that is available on inheritance111.com uh, be sure to go to the website if you are interested in consignment doing consignment with us or purchasing any of our merchandise on there everything is available there so I will talk to y'all soon Y'all take care. Be blessed until next time. Be Luke uh, 19. So this is an insert. And it talks about, it says right here, financial planning. And I just want to read uh, what it says before the timer goes off again on my camera. So wise money management. Good financial planning is a part of wise stewardship. To be truly effective steward, you must unequivocally that the money being managed is someone else's money 
You must believe unequivocally that the money being managed is someone else's money. God's money. Having the perspective gives a person the freedom to use finances as a tool to accomplish God's purposes. Recognizing that no one comes into the world without any possessions, with any possessions, and no one will leave anything with anything. And this can be found in Ecclesiastes 6, 5 and verse 15. So I've highlighted God has entrusted each person with certain resources. Money is something that God uses to test your ability to handle properly the other gifts and the desires gifts He desires to give to you. And this can be referenced in Luke chapter 16 verse 11. One day he will ask for an accounting of how you manage the resources he has given you. And that could be found in Luke 19:11 through 26. A wife who manages resources wisely is a pleasing to her husband and family. And we know that that could be found in Proverbs verse 31 and 28. And you know, I know that I want to be a wife who manages resources well. But before, you know, my husband comes to get me, <laughs> you know, I want to be diligent over, you know, what the Lord has given me. And I want to, I want to be a responsible steward, not only to, you know, better my life, but to better those uh, lives around me and then to give back to others and just to be a good humanitarian, be a good citizen and be a good philanthropist and be a good steward over what the Lord has blessed us with. So, um... You know, you, are, you and it also goes on to say that you are wise to remember the earth and its fullness is the Lord's. Hallelujah. Every resource is, even money is his, and you are simply stewards of his resources. Avoid a consumeristic lifestyle. The Bible teaches modernization in all things, and you can find that in 1 Corinthians 9 and 25. Avoid debt. This is in Proverbs 22 and 7 and Romans 13 and 8. Maintain a savings program. This could be found in Proverbs 12, 11. And set long-term goals. And this could be found in Proverbs 13, verses 22. So that's it for today, you all. A little bit of a...